same time, NBC came out with a bunch of interviews announcing like the things that they're doing currently in Saudi. So right now we know about Cherry, which was a movie that was produced by the Russo brothers for Apple mm -hmm. TV that was filmed in Lourdes. Mm -hmm. Right now we have a, a good four or five movies that are shooting actively across different places in Saudi. The first one is called Desert Warrior. I, I, have you guys heard about any of this? No? no. Okay. My bad. Because of our friends? Yes, we I do. You, you, yeah, we, yeah. we you have. Yeah. Okay. Tell me. So the first one, so these are really big productions. We're talking about like 10 pool movies. The first one is called Desert Warrior. It's shooting in Neom. And it's basically a throwback to, you know, the, the Arab history that we always hear about, but we don't really know that much about. So it goes back to one of the Arab kings, you know, in that, in that period before Islam came around, and Nurman. And it's a story of, of him dealing with one of the uh, kings of Persia at that time, Kisla. So it's a big production. It's shooting in Neom, and that's just one of the ones that Interesting. Yeah. yeah. And, it's, and for Sounds me, wild. I love the fact that mm -hmm. they're extracting the, you know, they're giving you stories of things that you should know. You know, these are the stories that you hear through poetry, you hear through, you know, Amanaku Jadanaku. Yeah, 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 yeah. But uh, they're doing that in a very literal sense. They're also doing another movie called uh, uh, Antala, about Antala bin Shaddad. Nice. So they're shooting that as well across different areas in Saudi. They haven't announced where exactly, but that's another one that's, you know, part of that same trend. They're doing a third one about uh, Thousand and One Nights, you know, how that mm. story actually got written down and where that inspiration came from. So all these are all... Uh, hopefully that one's not going to be cheesy. Yeah. Shoof. I hope none of them are cheesy, to be honest. Well, especially yeah. that one. Because that one, that story is a really good story, but everyone fucks it up. There's so many ways to tell that story, you know, like Shahrazad and, and that, that's the original telling of it. But at the same time, when you're looking at the inspiration for all these stories, all these inspirations came from Baghdad, like Baghdad being that city where everything happened. And these are, for me, honestly, like these are the kinds of stories we want to tell because these are the stories that really form our culture as Arabs, not just mm -hmm. as Muslims, you know? And going back to our history and extracting all of the, somebody like the video clip that you played yesterday. Yeah. Like, so he's playing a video clip, right? Uh, when we were at, at chilling at the titles and he's like, this guy was talking. He's like, bro, like Arabs are the most romantic fucking people ever. What are you talking about? Uh, if you're here, I can play for you right now. It's, it's basically just him highlighting like we have these stories. And if you go back, where are these stories coming from? They're coming from Saudi. Like this is the heartland of Arab identity. Mm -hmm. You know, Saudi generally, like Al Jazeera Arabia, including Yemen, that's the heartland of, of these stories. So I'm really glad they're taking the opportunity to actually tell these stories. And not just that, they're also doing like futuristic sci-fi stuff as well. So nice. they have a third movie called The Ark, okay? Okay. Also shooting in Neo. And that's going to be the story of how Noah's Ark resurfaces, you know, due to climate change and stuff. Interesting. For me, that's the craziest. Story. That that is some sci-fi yeah. that you can. Yeah, read. Hey, exactly. Like, oh shit! Like, this is, this is a scenario that you could envision happening. It's kind of like a real life analog to things. Yeah, 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 my point? yeah, yeah. So the fact that they're doing this and they're doing this in Neo, it's crazy. But and one of the things that also happened that also we missed out on are all the announcements that Neom are doing. So Neom are building a complete media hub, a full production film center, from pre-production all the way down to graphic uh, special effects and graphics. They have two sound studios that are about to be ready in January, I think. And they have four more that are going to be built. I was just about years. to tell you, do not say they're about to build. They're already built. They're already built, yeah. Or in the process. No, no, it's, it's going to be it's going to be yeah. finalized in January. You saw Assam's uh, Insta story lately where they haven't been paid. I've been seeing cats. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you, you haven't seen the media hub? Uh, I, no. He's I been haven't. posting the media hub. Okay. You know, and him uh, doing practice and... That's uh, yeah. That's there's, there's crazy things coming. There's crazy things coming. Yeah, and that's and that's just. And some's come back on the podcast, by the way. Oh, for real? Yeah, it's yeah. come back. It's come back. Like, yeah. and that's just there's one some of, announcements. That's just one of the things they're doing there, you know. And that's just looking at that whole media entertainment aspect, building like a full spectrum, you know, regional hub for production. 